Hey, I'm Brian Slasher at Suits. What's going on, dudes? And today we're covering Scream 5, 5 Cream, right? The sequel to Scream is called Scream, not Scream 5. But this is the kill count. Stay tuned to see exactly who's that on fire. Let's start off with the didn't die count, right? Because she did. You all know at the beginning of Scream, the person's got to die, but she did it. Drew Barrymore, Jada Pinkett, they all got killed in the beginning, but not this girl, but she got the hell beat out of her. She got her leg stomped and broke like Conor McGregor. Oh, nasty stuff. And then she's tried to defend against getting stabbed and got stabbed right through the hand. I'm like, dude, she's going to be a total goner. Ghostface even followed her to the hospital and she still lived to the end of the movie. And there was no flamethrower in the whole damn movie, man. They fooled us too, man. They put this flamethrower in, but it was like a clip from a stab movie. Nobody had the flamethrower. That's why I thought it was Chad, because all that tricep beat that dude holding the flamethrower as. And fucking Chad. Chad didn't die. And he was my bet to be the ghost face anyways, man. Ah, uh, you made a fool out of me. See, it looked like he died right here anyway. I mean, he got stabbed up a whole bunch, but like a car interrupted his flow. So I guess that was the whole reason he survived. She got stabbed and hurt, but she didn't get finished off, man. She held him off. But, right, original OG Randy lived because he was a virgin. She is no virgin. She loves the ladies. All right, Vince is the very first victim on the books. And it's revealed that he's Stu's nephew. Oh, look at this knife coming at him. Oh, man, that's not even the regular ghost face knife. That looks like a ice Pixar knife. Oh, right, that's the same knife that Vince showed everybody over at the bar. So I guess Ghostface took the knife that he left in the car and used it against him. So a neck stab, he falls down to the ground. I was hoping that Ghostface would run him over with the car, but I don't know, man. After seeing Hawkins live through that, who knows, man. Maybe Vince might have lived through that, too. Hey, Judy's back. Remember that fine cop from Scream 4 who had a crush on Dewey? She should have went after Dewey now that he's like recently uh, divorced and everything. He's on the market. You're on the market. Why not? <laughs> Shit. And she was like classmates with Sydney, but man, Ghostface was so brazen with this kill. Killed her in the middle of the day. It couldn't be brighter outside either. Ghostface really doesn't kill anybody during the day, really. Before this, he only killed the Fonz in the daytime. And Judy was Wes's mom. And he got killed during the daytime, too. Oh, man. He had one of the most goriest deaths, too. Because he was, like, face-to-face -face with Ghostface. And he actually had got overpowered to put that, like, knife into his throat. So, oh, man. That had to take a lot of strength. That's why I say Richie pulled that one off. Are you kidding me, man? This little girl's a ghost face? Oh, man. She better be a black belt in judo or something like that. But she got what she got coming to her because she got set on fire. Oh, it was brutal. Gail shot her and she fell against the stove and got lit up. Fun fact, the actress who played Amber also got lit up by Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Is that crazy? You got lit up and killed in two different movies. It's like on your resume. <laughs> Tara from the beginning actually got the final death blow on Amber and I guess that's almost like revenge for breaking her leg and stabbing her up in the beginning. I mean Amber should have really killed her in the beginning man because that would have saved her life but they needed Tara alive to have their whole plan go through. Man, if you're a ghost face, you got messed up. You gotta give Gail credit too. What? Shot her three times, set her on fire as well. So, right? So, it's almost like that with assist points to Gail, but the final headshot came because of Tara. And they did a great job with that makeup. Like, man, Amber was a pretty little thing, but now look at her face. <laughs> she has like Jason Vlory's face now. And she got one kill on the books with her reveal that she shot Liv like right in the face. I forgot she was a character until she died. 
Now this next death is the one that hurt. Oh man, Dewey finally got killed. He went to go be a hero and went to the hospital to try to save Tara and went back to go finish off Ghostface and it didn't happen. He got stabbed to death and he drowned in like a pool of his own blood. It was pretty cool. Also, there was a cop who got his throat slit in that same hospital scene. Dewey almost had like a death wish though. Like, alright, if he's gonna die, he's gonna die at the hands of Ghostface. Like, he went out like a rider a bit. But, man, it's hard to acknowledge Dewey actually died because, man, this guy almost dies at one, two, three, four. In every one of these, he almost dies, but he pulls through. But, man, he just got his card punched this time. And the second ghost face was Richie. I knew it because he had to be tall. Somebody had to be tall enough to be ghost face. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. See, you should have known then, right? He's like, hey, I'll be right. Oh, no, 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 I might get killed. Like, you're joking because you're like, yeah, I know exactly who the killer is. Me. Richie got a little bit too cocky. Oh, man, right. And then after this, she just went on, like, beast mode on him. Richie got stabbed up, man, at least 10 times. I think I've counted it was like 22 times. Oh, man, and just like her daddy gone told her, like, yeah, slit his throat for good measure. They actually made a pretty cool pairing. I like both of them as a ghost face because they both brought that stew energy and their motive was pretty neat. Like the stab movies were ended up being a bit shitty. So they're like, well, why don't we do another one and they'll base that off of true events. I mean, Amber's a little bit short, but I did like her energy with it. She would plead like, oh, come on, man. It wasn't my fault. I'm a young girl. The guy's older. Took advantage of me. I've been radicalized. It's not a ghost face killing unless you shoot the guy. <laughs> and she not only shot him, she shot him like four times. We got a total kill count of eight people. I mean, it probably seems low considering like Halloween Kills, which is like 30, or Malignant, which is in the 30s too, but it was pretty good. I liked it. I hope we get sequels. And I also got a total live count of five. Well, you had the three people I thought would die, and then you got the two legacy characters who live like Gail and Sydney. And almost forgot to mention Skeet Ulrich return. Billy Lubis in his whole bloody shirt cosplay deal came back. And he came back as visions of uh, in Sam's head because Sam's supposed to be his daughter. He was giving pussy the whole time <laughs> cheating on Sydney in high school. So, all right, thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe. I got some more screen content coming for you. And catch you dudes later. Later, dudes.